How to use state symbols by kscience.com State symbols show the state of matter of reactants and products in symbol equations. An S in brackets means the substance is a solid. Any substance which is a solid at room temperature will have a particle diagram like this, where the particles are regularly arranged and close together. Therefore, to represent this in an equation, you write S in brackets. The S in brackets means it is a solid. An L in brackets means the substance is a liquid. Any substance which is a liquid will have a particle diagram where the particles are randomly arranged and close together. An L in brackets stands for a liquid. A G in brackets means the substance is a gas. A substance which is a gas will have a particle diagram where the particles are far apart and randomly arranged. Remember, if a substance is a gas, it is represented by a G in brackets. Aqueous can be simplified as AQ in brackets. Aqueous means a solid has dissolved in a liquid, and we call this a solution. For example, if salt, which is a solid, dissolves in water, which is a liquid, we now say the salt is aqueous, or we say it is in solution, because the salt has dissolved in water. We can represent this using a diagram, where the pink particles are the liquid, and because the liquid is what the solid dissolves in, these pink particles are the solvent. The white particles are the solid, and because they have dissolved in the liquid, they are the solute. A solute is the substance which dissolves in a solvent. So aqueous just describes when a solid has dissolved in a liquid. That's all it is. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to learn how state symbols are used on balanced equations. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Magnesium is a metal, so is a solid at room temperature. Oxygen is a gas at room temperature. And magnesium oxide is an ionic compound and is a solid. Therefore, we write Mg, S in brackets for solid, reacts with O2, G in brackets for gas, reacts to form MgO, S in brackets for solid. Notice how the state symbols are written in a really small way, just to the right of the atom. Just like you do when you write the small numbers to say how many atoms are present in the molecule or compound. In the next example, lithium reacts with water to form lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. I know which state symbol to put because lithium is a metal as it's in group one, therefore it must be a solid. Water is H2O, it is made of non-metals and I know at room temperature it is a liquid. Lithium hydroxide is AQ, this means aqueous as the solid is dissolved in the liquid. And then hydrogen is a non-metal, and I know it's a gas at room temperature. Li, and then S for solid, reacts with H2O, L for liquid, reacts to form LiOH, Aq for aqueous, and H2, G for gas. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video.
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.